Hi guys, good morning. Uh, my name is Perla Cerrone. I'm a gold consultant, EVA 100 and IATAN card holder. I wanted to just hold a very, very short training on how to um, send over and actually use small PDF when um, using the credit card authorization form. That way you can send it over electronically, send it in an email, um, and, um, it'll get sent to your client. The client can then sign electronically, and then it's going to get sent back to you with their signature and also with an audit report. So it's time stamped and everything. Okay. So I wanted to just show you how to do this really quick. It's very easy to do. Okay. So <clears throat> I downloaded the, oh, wrong thing. Sorry. I downloaded the credit card authorization form, okay? So I am just going to fill this out very quickly just to show you. Just put my... All right, however you wanna fill this out is your decision, right? So we're just gonna put here, um, Sally Smith, um, that will be your client's name. And then you are going to then put your business name here in terms of the independent contractor. Okay, under guest name, again, will be your client. Here we can just put package, supplier name. So usually for the supplier name, I will put the name of the hotel or um, like I will then include like the airline with the hotel. So let's say it's United slash um, Marriott. Okay. Confirmation number. Um, let's just say A123456. Departure date. We're just picking some random dates here. Contact name again is going to be Sally Smith. Name as it appears on the credit card for the client. Last four of the credit card, one, two, three, four. Total charge, let's say it was $5,000. Expiration. Just showing you guys how, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. Just showing you guys how um, I fill out the form for the client <clears throat> and then we'll do the um, signature, okay? Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is how the form would be filled out, right? So <clears throat> from here, this, let me save this here. Um, so that way I can just easily find it. Okay. So this is small PDF. Okay. Small PDF is very similar to DocuSign. Um, DocuSign does allow you to have a free trial, but after that you have to pay. Small PDF, um, they do have a free version and then they also have a paid version. Okay. So I personally only do the free version. Okay. So I'm going to log in. Just continue with Google. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like to me. It's gonna tell me that I need to renew my subscription because I don't have a subscription, okay? But I did find a way around that you are still able to use small PDF and its um, features with a free version, okay? By not having a subscription. So, what you do is right here where it says e-sign PDF, you're gonna click this and you're gonna choose a file, okay? Now we're gonna look for Sally's credit card authorization form. And here it comes up, okay? Now this um, small PDF allows you to make changes to the form if you need to. So if for whatever reason you did a typo, or let's say you just want to upload the file empty, like how it was, you can do so and um, just fill it out from here. Okay. So this is what it looks like, right? 
So now you're going to hit invite signees. Sally Smith. And because this is a fake person, um, I'm just going to put my other email address. So that way you guys can see how it looks like once I receive it, it's signed and what it looks like when it's sent back. Okay. So Sally Smith, I'm sending it to my business email. Okay. You, once you hit add, it's going to automatically add. You can add multiple signees. Let's say for example, you had two people you were splitting the payment or something. I don't know, for whatever reason. Um, you can then just hit continue. Okay, so now Sally Smith is the signee. She is assigned to this document, okay? So now we're gonna hit review and send. All of these other boxes here, this is going to be really for Sally, okay? Because we are not the ones actually signing this document. Um, there's nothing that you need to worry about here. Okay. Cause everything is already filled out, um, <clears throat> for signature, for example, you could literally, it has you put in her signature, but that's not the point. The point is for you to send it over to the, to the client. Right. So we're going to hit review and send. Now you can obviously use this for yourself, right? Like if you, um, needed it to sign a document or something, and you can do this for yourself and then just electronically sign yourself, okay? So we're gonna hit review and send. Signees, Sally Smith from Perla Cerrone, and then a personal message, okay? You can edit this if you want to. Hey, Sally, here is your credit card authorization form for an electronic signature. Please review it and sign, whatever you wanna do. I typically just leave the personal message as it is, okay? So finish and send. Finish and invite signees. Yes, sent. Now it's going to be uploading here. Processing. And I just got an email. It's always going to come up with this seven days free trial, right? Um, otherwise, so it has a seven day free trial. But otherwise, you have to wait a total of almost 14 and a half hours to work on another file. So let's say, for example, I had a credit card authorization form that I really needed signed for someone else, for another client. Um, I would have to wait another 14 hours to actually be able to do it for free. Okay. But I will tell you a little trick. What I have done is I have two accounts with small PDF. I have I have a free account with my personal email and I have a free account with my business email. So in the event that I do need to really send over something to sign, I will just use one of the other accounts and it, it doesn't flag or anything like that. Okay. So just a little tidbit, um, just a little trick there. Okay. So I just got an email. So let me go ahead and open that. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like to the client. It's going to say, Perla Cerrone invited you to sign. And then it's going to have the name of the file that I already titled it, right? So now it's going to say, hi, Sally. Um, you have until 6, 8 to sign, okay? So it gives them a pretty good amount of time, but usually I will tell clients I need it back immediately. So as soon as you receive that, send it back right away, okay? So they're going to hit access and sign. It's going to bring them to small PDF, okay? Now they click on your signature. They can draw it. They can type it in. They can upload. So let's just say I want to type it in and Sally wants to be a little fancy. She wants to create that signature. Okay, so now this is Sally's signature. She can also add in initials if she wanted to. Okay, so now we're going to click this and it's going to bring Sally Smith's um, uh, signature here. She can make it bigger. She can make it smaller. She can change the color, right? Whatever. Okay, this is, I'm pretending I'm Sally. Okay, so now me being Sally, I'm done signing this form. I'm going to finish and send. And it's going to say, are you ready to sign and submit the document? We will send you a copy by email. Yes. Send. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to upload. It's going to process. Now, as the person that invited 
Sally. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like this. So this it was this one here. You sent a signature request for Sally Smith. This is a, a like a notification, like, hey, you sent it over to Sally Smith and it's time stamped, right? Now that Sally Smith signed the document, you're going to receive another email that says Sally Smith just signed your document. Okay. So when you click this, you can download. It's going to take me back to my account. And this is what it looks like now. Okay. Status completed, si created and signed on, signed by Sally. Okay. When I scroll down, here's her signature. And then here is that audit trail, that certificate of completion that's timestamped. It has, um, you know, this audit trail that is like legitimate, right? So now I'm able to then download and, and um, file this copy under my client's um, profile or um, file, right? Now I have this saved. I can download it. Okay, and now it comes up here, downloaded, okay, with my clients, um, with the certificate of completion. And this is what I save, okay? So just a really quick video, just to show you guys, you can still do the electronic signature, um, very quick and easy to do, okay?